The death of this mammal is breathing life into scientific analysis at the University of Otago. The adult male porpoise was found on Pippi Karatu Beach on Wednesday morning. At just over two metres long, it weighs more than 100 kgs. It's been bitten by a shark, but questions remain about how it died and why it was so close to New Zealand shores. There are quite big shark bites on the left hand side behind the head and when we looked at those bites closely we couldn't see any serious evidence of bleeding right at the bites. Normally you'd expect to see some evidence of bruising if the animal had been bitten when it was alive. It would be bitten and then it would straight away bruise. So we don't see that. So at this stage it looks like it might have been bitten after it died. These sea creatures are rarely seen and no one knows how many exist. They live in deep Antarctic waters and only about five have stranded on New Zealand beaches in the last 150 years. That's why this autopsy, undertaken at Invermay, is important. There are a few parasites in the blubber, probably not enough to have caused it serious problems. We're going to look at the stomach and gut contents and that might tell us what the animal was uh, feeding on just before it died. Soft tissue will be kept at the university for analysis and the skeleton will be stored at the Otago Museum. It's not known whether it will be publicly displayed, but that's a possibility. The museum has uh, an expanding and significant collection of skeletons of dolphins and whales and now there's a chance to add a porpoise to it as well. So it will certainly help research and maybe we'll see it for the public at some stage. The porpoise went through a CT scan before today's autopsy, which took about nine hours. And with time, a lot more will be revealed about this really seen creature. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.